It's a match made in heaven. That's what most of us think. Though, even such angelic love has its ups and downs. Get to know the whole story about what's going on in Priyanka and Nick's relationship behind the curtains. Nick and Priyanka were raised in totally different worlds. While Jonas had already performed on Broadway at the age of seven in the musical USA Family, Priyanka was searching for her own way in a prestigious Indian family of doctors. While Chopra was busy taking Miss India by storm and even winning it, and later even taking the 2000 Miss World pageant, Jonas, meanwhile, formed the boy band the Jonas Brothers with his siblings and found great success working with the Disney company. Together, but in different parts of the world, they enter the film industry. Chopra has become a huge Indian star, appearing in nearly 50 films, chiefly in Bollywood. Jonas, on the other hand, has gained notoriety as a solo artist and expanded his acting career to TV and movies, especially thanks to his roles in TV shows Jonas and Kingdom. Finally, Priyanka got closer to her future husband and signed on to the cast of Quantico, an American TV show about FBI recruits. And only then did the fairy tale relationship of Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas open its first chapter. Before they actually met each other, both had a pretty long history of exes. And if this aspect of Priyanka's life is totally shrouded in mystery, only giving a few poor hints on some Indian celebs, Jonas's love life was completely in the public eye, starting from 13 years old, when he started dating his fellow Disney star. Miley Cyrus and also had a fling with Selena Gomez. Jonas dated the Australian singer Delta Goodrem. Then it was one of the longest relationships when he started dating the former Miss Universe Culpo. But lucky for Priyanka, the pair split after two years of dating. And then there were numerous rumors about his romance with Kendall Jenner and even Kate Hudson. And finally, after years of searching, the musician and member of the Jonas Brothers met undoubtedly one of the biggest movie actresses in India and Quantico star back at the Oscars after party in 2017. Where did we officially the first, first time meet? We meet? Yeah. Ready? Ready. Oscars after party, that's correct. We met at an Oscars after party. Yay! And I got down on one knee and said, Where have you been all my life? Before meeting in person, they firstly texted each other for a few months. And according to Priyanka, it all started from Nick, who melted her heart with the sweetest compliment she ever received. Afterwards, they finally went out together to a well-known party, both wearing Ralph Lauren. Are you dating Nick Jonas? Isn't he like 11 years old? We were both wearing Ralph Lauren, and we decided to go together, because oh, it was fun. Really interesting. Yeah, I didn't ask his age, 11? Yeah. Lots of people discussed the 10-year age difference between the two, as at the time they started dating, Chopra was 35 years old and Jonas only 24. To put that into perspective, Jonas was just a 10-year-old in middle school when Chopra made her big-screen acting debut in the Indian drama Tamizan. It's entirely possible that Nick Jonas' early career success may have helped him mature faster than most people in his age group making him the perfect match for Chopra. Before Nick, Chopra never allowed herself to be photographed with a boyfriend. I've had that rule my whole life, she says. Never publicly acknowledge a relationship, ever. But Jonas changed it all. As the actress commented on, this guy turned me into such a girl. If I could blush, I'd be tomato red right now. The two had only been publicly dating for a few months before Jonas proposed. And that is a great story. The whole thing happened in Crete. And as far as Chopra knew, it was to be a casual trip for her 36th birthday. Nick chose the most beautiful ring from Tiffany & Co, which he picked out with his brothers a few weeks earlier. Jonas waited until after midnight, so that future engagement anniversaries would not coincide with her birthday celebrations. Then, he stood on one knee and told her the words every girl wishes to hear, although he did not get the awaited answer right away. Nick was terrified and shocked. No joke, she took about 45 seconds. 45 seconds of silence, he revealed. Later, Chopra explained that she was simply speechless and out of breath. Anyways, it did not scare Jonas away, and he pressed on by taking the situation under control. He said, I'm going to put this ring on your finger now, unless you have any objections. Well, luckily for all, Chopra eventually did agree. And so there they were, preparing their dreamlike wedding just after a couple of months of dating. The couple has been ruling headlines ever since their wedding night. Not surprising. That huge Indian celebration will probably stay on everybody's lips for a long time. Well, it's hard to forget her gown from Ralph Lauren with a 75-foot veil. I remember them putting the veil on me and veil was like 75 I feet. Just gonna say, how was it walking heavy? No. <laughs> but I was like, I'm gonna strain my neck muscles to be the mother of dragons 
<laughs> that made her wedding gown probably even more memorable than the one her royal friend, Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle had. The two are actually really close. Meghan and Priyanka have been friends since 2016 when they met at the L Women in Television event. Just a few months later, Meghan told the Press Trust of India that Priyanka is unbelievable. She has become a really good friend. She added that with Priyanka, she has an unbelievable connection. The Duchess even stated that she tries to see her dearest friend whenever they're both in the same town. Although the ceremony did seem perfect, there was a dark side as well. While they stunned people all around the world with their lavish ceremonies at Umain Bhavan Palace, there was a moment when PC freaked out just before her wedding. And guess who helped her to get back to reality? It was none other than her then-to-be husband, Nick Jonas, who came to her rescue. The actress confessed that it was the moment when she was supposed to walk down the aisle. She was standing right behind the curtains and the music was going to start playing and that's when she started having one crazy panic attack. But from the moment the doors opened and she saw Nick waiting on her down the aisle, everything came back to normal. Ah, that is the power of love. What else is there to say here? After the wedding bells, Priyanka Chopra finally opened up about her married life and revealed the secrets of the newlywed couple. The actress admitted that married life is different and that she didn't understand the gravity of that when she got married. But with all the support coming from her husband, things are becoming easier for her. The actress does not get tired of saying how much she loves everything about him and hates absolutely nothing. Though there is one tiny thing she finds it hard to deal with, and it's his need to be right on time. Really? Is this his biggest flaw? Is he really as perfect as he seems? Well, he is for Priyanka, that's for sure. Continuing to share about her married life, Chopra recounts her experience of staying at Jonas's house. It was a big adjustment for the lady. She said on the Fallon show that nothing in her home works because she's rarely in the house. However, everything in Jonas's home is just immaculate, according to her. She revealed, when I go to Nick's house, it makes me so nervous as when something is so super clean and when you take off your shoes, it bothers you. One member of the household who had the biggest time adjusting to married life was Chopra's dog, Diana. She said that the dog decided to mark her territory as soon as she entered Jonas's home and peed on Nick's white carpet. Priyanka really freaked out. Before her husband came home, she went through everything. Cleaners, baking soda, scrubbing. She hoped he would never know. She got it out, and yet, Nick still noticed it. So, like, my dog peed on his carpet the first day. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. He's like, he's like, what am I doing, man? And it's a white carpet, too. Oh, no. Before he came home, I can't tell you, I went through everything. <laughs> Cleaners, baking soda, like, scrubbing, serious elbow grease. Got it out. You did. But he still noticed. <laughs> Fortunately, he just could not be mad at Priyanka for long, so there was no real issue. While their relationship looks ideal from an external view, in reality, newlyweds face some tough obstacles. The first would be their crazy work schedules, which made them even postpone their own honeymoon. It took both at least a month to close their work commitments. The actress commented, My work and Nick's work are very important to us, she started. My commitments matter to me a lot. My word is my bond. It is lucky that her husband shares the same point of view on this issue. Considering that, the married couple even made a pact to speak multiple times a day and try and not go more than two weeks without seeing each other. Nevertheless, the couple seemed to be managing the problem. Chopra says that distance can be hard on any relationship, but it has actually made them that much closer. Since the wedding, everyone is trying to get the details about the pair's future plans to start a family. And as we know from her earlier interview, Chopra is willing to become a mother. She said, My ultimate dream is to have kids. As many as I can. However, just because they got married fast doesn't mean they'll be bringing little ones into the world just as quickly. It's not something I think about very much. We're both very driven, we love our work, we're married to our work, and we're supportive of each other's work. So I'm sure it will happen in an organic way," comments the actress. Still, they did share a little about the possibility of future children. During an interview, Nick didn't get into specifics of when exactly he and Priyanka want to have a baby. But he did say, I definitely want to be a father someday. He also called it a dream. He added that because he started his career at the ripe old age of seven, he's grown up way faster than most people and is ready to pass along all the knowledge he's gained to his future kid. On never-ending questions like when exactly do they think they'll be finally ready, both answer the same way. 
Let us be married first for a while before we have to make all these big decisions. The couple states that they are still in the honeymoon period and that they are going to be so for a very long time. Ah oh well, of course we are happy for them, but it's hard to wait for when the cutest babies will finally join this perfect family.